Hey guys, it's Mary. So today we're going to be making some earrings, painter's palette and uh, brush earrings. They're actually really easy to make. For this, I'm going to be using some polymer clay. It's been a while since I used polymer clay. I'm working with the Sculpey brand and I'm going to be taking this match. I'm going to divide that into two pieces or bowls and I'm going to be making this shape out of them. It's not a complete circle as you can see, it's kind of like um, oval shaped but not really. And it's because a painter's palette, the shape of them, is pretty tricky. Then I'm going to be using this uh, detail brush, using this end of it, making a hole kind of like towards the right part using my scissors and I'm just going to work on the gap like they have in there smoothing like those parts the edges so then i'm going to be taking this toothpick and i'm just going to be working on the uh, hole that they have in there as far as the tiny brush though i'm just going to be taking more clay i'm going to roll it into shape of like a tiny snake or a sausage and then i'm going to be taking more polymer clay and making this shape like a novel shaped again but i'm going to be like squeezing it towards one side then i went with my scissors cut out half of it i ended up cutting a bit more towards the like other side of like that tiny shape and then I'm just going to be gathering all those ends together it's kind of creepy like a mini hand at this point I think at the end it looks kind of uh, decent and then I'm just going to be uh, gluing the whole thing together I'm going to be using two ear wires for this for this one I'm going to cut this end part of this if you have some eye pins use those instead I didn't have them that's why I had to use a ear wire for this but yeah I'm just going to be putting this on this end of this brush and I'm just going to bake them Following the instructions of my uh, polymer clay package, once they are baked and cooled, I'm going to be using this uh, two ear pots, gluing them with some super glue. Then I'm going to be using this vintage white acrylic paint and I'm just going to be painting this ones. Letting them dry in a tiny piece of block of foam. I'm using some scissors so I don't touch the whole thing. I'm going to be working with all this acrylic paints following the uh, colors of the rainbow and my dotting tool i do have the diy for this one and i'm going to be adding the uh, colors like this like in a painter's palette they're not like dots but they're like this shape feel free to work with a toothpick if you prefer for this i just prefer to work with this dotting tool because i can just clean it in between colors and i chose to work with this order just so all my uh, colors had like the same amount of like space in between them then as far as the green one i'm mixing it with some white is because i wanted to make my green lighter and it's the same thing that i did on the blue one as well for the mini brush i'm going to be painting the bristles part of the brush with my vintage white again i painted this part of the brush with like plain uh, brown but it looked kind of weird it looked nothing like a brush it looked more like a, a broomstick so i ended up making my own color combination of yellow some white brown and then some orange mixing the whole thing until i got this shade it's somewhere between a uh, beige and a mustard i feel like but anyways i ended up painting that part of the brush then i went with my silver and my tiny brush and i ended up adding some details to make this look like brush like a painting brush and i think this silver detailing made that look like a brush rather than anything else and i actually really liked it then i'm just going to be adding some uh, gloss and i'm using the sculpey and this uh, gloss is going to help the whole thing blend together and everything is going to look nicer feel free to work with nail top coat if you prefer i just like to work with this one because it doesn't smell as much and it dries fast then as a final step i'm just going to be adding my ear wire just to make the brush an earring and yeah guys these are the ideas that i want to share with you i made two options one is matching and the other option is like one earring is a painter's palette and the other one is like brush just because i wanted to have two options feel free as well to glue your brush to your painter's palette i think they turn out super cute as someone that loves art i really like this ones and i wanted to make mini versions of it to just wear them like earrings you can make them necklaces if you want i really like art painters palettes and brushes and so i wanted to make mini versions of them i actually wanted to go for something rainbow-ish related because i love rainbows and to celebrate pride month so yeah i really hope you like them if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up check out more earrings that i have on my channel and subscribe for more so yeah thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye guys